It's a bear, you guys. Oh my god. boyfriend Corey we drove down to Gold River today to see the old bow water pulp, pulp mill that's here behind me um, it's obviously abandoned it was built in 1964 and it shut down in 1999 after all its purposes were not in use anymore basically and it's just been like deteriorating throughout the years um, in 2004 they tried to turn it into like a BC hydro energy thing and basically the town said no because it meant that they were going to be destroying all of vancouver's garbage for them and i even me and corey were googling it last night and i told him i was like i bet you any money um that the town probably protested it and we're like no we're not taking gar vancouver's garbage because this is like a small mining community from back in the day and sure enough we were just talking to the security lady finding out where we can go and stuff and she's like told me exactly that so um we hadn't found out anything like that was recent on it so we weren't sure if it was going to be here we were kind of taking a risk but um we're not able to go in which is like we we were in but we're not able to like super walk in there and stuff so i'm gonna take some pictures and just get some footage for you guys and yeah enjoy so we um Sorry. So we came across this fish hatchery here that was like had all these private property, no trespassing signs and stuff. And we just decided to come in here anyways because we could see the pulp mill that we want to get to over there. And we saw this like girl driving a tractor thing. So we just kind of got out and asked her like, hey, is there a way to get to it? And she was super chill and said, yeah, if we just go up this road, even though it says private, we're like allowed on it, I guess. And she said that there's a gate, but they should let us in. So fingers crossed. This is a really beautiful drive too. Yes, we have cracks in our window, but that's okay. <laughs> the vehicle's a little ghetto. Okay. Wish us luck. That's where we're hoping to look. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I can't see in the windows. I don't know what we're supposed to do. <laughs> usually we have a, usually there's a, a film kind of stuff like this on there too. You can't oh. see in for anything. <laughs> That's funny. How's your day going? Good. What are you guys up to? Um, We're just exploring. <laughs> and I was looking up places on the island and stuff and I was seeing this mill and we were just wondering if we could like take pictures and how far we're allowed to go in without oh, okay. and stuff like that. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're not allowed past those gates down there. Okay. Unless you work here. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like not past the fence. Yeah, like where, the, where that truck is right, right now. Yeah, that's oh, our bug okay. man. He's checking all yeah, the Yeah, we tracks. asked him first. So I was like, do you work oh, here? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, only if you work here, you're supposed to come in. Oh, so okay. you can go down there and take pictures. Go for it. Okay. okay. Yeah. No wandering. To <laughs> yeah. No, we don't have any tours. Okay. It's, it's a hazard. It's a hazard. It's being um, demoed right now. All the piles of stuff. And with the wind, oh, my gosh. This stuff just oh flies um, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Has oh, anyone no. like gotten hurt? No. Oh, that's good. No. <laughs> My guy fell in a hole. Yeah. <coughs> so the, yeah, go down there, take some pictures, and you might even get to see a bear. We got three. Oh, well, we, we just saw, saw a mom oh. and two babies. Oh, did you? So where were they? Um, the road maybe before like like, this one. Yeah, oh, okay. The road, yeah. Oh, okay. She has two, eh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, so you, at first we just saw the mom and then the dude came out as I was video recording. Oh, obviously, and they were like, oh, 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 oh. Stop to film them. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah no. no. Yeah, we got three bears around here, and one I've only seen the one with a baby. One's a great big guy. He's been here for like eight years. He's huge. Really? Oh yeah, he's like, I mean, just a bit smaller than my car here. He's oh, wow. Like, this thing is huge. That's crazy. So hopefully you get to see him. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. And yeah, I don't like seeing him when I'm out and about. He's not even as scared of a uh, riding lawnmower. You know how much noise oh, they make. Oh my gosh, he's got just balls. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you have to get you have to get away from him because all he's like. Turf, they're always territorial. Yeah, and he smacks the ground and he starts waving his head. You know. Oh my god. Yeah, they. You know, allowed the excavators and stuff. Yeah. Are. yeah. That big grand poopa, he goes right up behind the excavators and stuff to see what they're doing, and oh, so he's wow. got his trails and yeah. there it is. He Way. doesn't care. Oh, it, yeah. He's like just a little too great. This oh, one's crazy. I've seen cougars like that over in passes. It's oh, scary. Because I, I used to do logging over there and they okay. just don't care about us. No. <laughs> no. We have to respect them. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. Being in their land. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And this is like all this has been getting taken down in the last couple months while they were sleeping. Yeah, because I well, I heard that oh, right. someone bought it, right? Uh, so they're gonna be well. There's four four owners. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's four. Um, uh, West Coast. So uh, what are they called now? Uh, One of yeah, but there's good. four owners to oh. the property. Are they doing some kind of like energy plant or something with it? Is that? Oh, that was a long time ago, and that fell through only because okay. the town kiboshed that because it was Vancouver that wanted to barge all the garbage here. Oh, yeah, I told you, I knew it. I was like, they were like, hell and no. Our town was like, no, deal with your own garbage. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, what you, you got lots happened. of tulies there to go build a plant somewhere on the mainland and. Oh, Take care of your own shit. Yeah. Well, it'd be more expensive for them to do it there because there's more environmental um, mm. aspects to the project uh. of being here on the West Coast and so many kilometers away from a community. It's not. But do you think we want to be working here small no, enough? Kidding. Yeah. No, no, thanks. And I guess, yeah, so, and it wasn't going to make that much energy anyways. Uh. And just to set the property up to do the project was over $10 million oh, <laughs> to set, you know, put in incinerators and barges and all the, you yeah. know, oh, yeah. the conveyor belts and, it's yeah, I mean, it would have created a few jobs, but no, right now they're just tearing everything down and they're going to turn it back into its natural habitat. Oh, nice. Okay. And then um, there's always like somebody coming and saying, checking things out, can we do this here, can we do that here, but so far... Been pretty no no. Pretty yeah, because some of it's just fly by night companies too. They're trying oh, yeah. to make a quick buy. Stop, read it, say, oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Yeah. Just wanted to do a quick little. I'm hoping to set the camera up on your tailgate okay. and have this in the background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so another thing the security lady told us is that um, there's actually like four different owners of this place right now I thought it had sold to just one but apparently four different people own it and um, they've been just tearing it apart little bits bit by bit 
Um, you'd see in the video a little bit previously that over there there's like piles of all like the iron or metal or whatever that they use to build it and stuff. Um, so they're slowly tearing it apart and they basically want it to eventually be its natural habitat again. So just green and round on the side of the water. Um, there's this big wall facing behind me. <laughs> big mountain. This is so cool to be out here. And apparently like 40 miles or something into there between here and the next town there's like a mine and there was a uh, an investor came and wanted to basically like start a job site here so that they could go and mine there but there was only going to be like six months of mining so they said no basically like every um person who comes here and tries to pitch an idea gets shut down because they're always like really short-term jobs or something that will destroy um the naturalness that is the beauty of this place. And there's Cordy eating some food. I, I packed a picnic. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is really beautiful. I'm really happy we made this trip. You can see, like, I love seeing things like that. I don't know if it's right. Mm, okay, gotta, where is it? There. There's like a path break all the way through the trees. So this is just something we actually spotted on the drive down to the pulp mill um, and I remember to stop. We actually walked all the way because we thought we were at the right pull off and we weren't. So corey has gone back to get the truck and I'm going to show you guys our find. People. 